Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Ramadan Daily! I can't believe this is the 6th annual Ramadan Daily content series on YouTube. Like that is just so insane to me how many years have gone by and how many Ramadan dailies we have spent together. Um, but first and foremost, I do want to say a very special and warm Ramadan Mubarak to all of your families and yourselves, of course, your loved ones, all of the people who have gen genuinely supported me over the many years. I just wish all of us to have a beautiful and blessed month this month, this year. <laughs> May Allah accept all of our good deeds and all of our fasts, our charity, and just everything that we are striving to do this month um, to become better Muslims. May Allah accept all of that. Um, I want to thank you guys, obviously, for joining me for a sixth year of the Ramadan daily and just constantly supporting me and supporting my channel and just, I don't know, being able to spend Ramadan together. I feel like it's always a special month. I've been seeing all of your thousands of comments about whether I was going to do the Ramadan daily again this year and of course I am. It's honestly something I look forward to and um, I love being able to just like interact with you guys on a daily basis, share my life and my contact content with you and obviously this year will be very, very special. If you guys have been around for years now, you know that every single year I partner up with a charity to help raise funds for food packages for Muslims around the world that are in need and I'm so excited to announce my partnership with the UNRWA this year and my good friend Isra Shakir um, who does an amazing job every single year like seriously I admire that woman so much um, and she puts together these amazing influencer campaigns where you know, people like me can use their influence and use their platform to benefit other Muslims around the world and kind of just do our part. This year we're going to be raising food packages for the Palestinian refugees in Gaza, also in Syria and Lebanon. Um, obviously Syria was hit with a horrible, horrible... Ooh, the sun is coming out. Look as I talk about this, mashallah. <laughs> um, Syria was hit with a horrible earthquake this year as well as Turkey um, and there are a lot of people in need so I'm so excited to inshallah raise a lot of money for this and if you guys donate be before April 20th I believe that there will be a chance that there, your donations are going to be matched which is really really special. Just one donation of $60 US can feed an entire refugee family for the month of Ramadan so that is huge it's so little to us but it's so much for a Muslim family in need. So inshallah I will have that link link down below. You guys can read more on it and um, yeah, I'm super excited for Team Aisha to donate and just make a difference in our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters lives this Ramadan. Obviously giving charity is super super important but also making sure other Muslims have food to eat and food to break their fast with is just a donation and a charity like no other so that is what this charity will be about and you can read more in the description box I will have that linked at the top of my description box in every single video this Ramadan but anyways I don't want this intro to be too long because this video is already gonna be super long I'm gonna be decorating for Ramadan in this video and mainly obviously my living room but I'm so happy and proud of our decorations this year so Risky and I did an amazing job and I am going to leave that video with you guys but before I leave I want to know what your guys' Ramadan goals are this year my goal specifically is to read more of the Quran but also like transcribe not transcribe it but like understand the meaning of the verses that I'm reading I feel like as I grew up I obviously learned to read and write Arabi um, and like read the Quran and I'm blessed that I'm able to do that but you know a lot of the I don't I don't understand I don't comprehend Arabi so being able to do that this Ramadan is going to be kind of like my top goal and I'm really excited to get into that so let me know what your guys' Ramadan goals are this year. I would love to know them and maybe they can inspire myself um, to, you know, jump on those goals too. But thank you guys so much for watching this intro. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and we have so much exciting content coming and already ready for you guys. Some content you guys see in the next couple um, days is going to be pre-filmed. So stay tuned. I am going to be daily vlogging as well. So you guys will see kind of like my first day of Ramadan, all the recipes I'm going to be making. 
I just can't wait. And if you would like more of my face and more of my content, feel free to also join me on Instagram and TikTok on Instagram at Aisha Harun and on TikTok Aisha underscore Harun. Someone stole my name on there. I'm trying to work on it, but whatever. <laughs> Y'all can find all my links down below. Um, and I will be posting a lot of content on there as well and exclusive recipes and mocktails and all of that. But anyways, I'm talking way too much. Enjoy the video, Ramadan Karim. And I love you guys. Let's get to 500K, half a million this year, inshallah. We're so, so close, but yes. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the Ramadan Daily. Today is actually Ramadan Decor Day. So I think this might actually be the first video of Ramadan, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if it is, Ramadan Mubarak. Today is all about getting this house prepared for Ramadan and making it really, really beautiful. If you guys saw in a vlog before, um, Ramadan actually started, I shared myself just like cleaning the entire place. But now it's officially time to actually start decorating. So we started putting some decor up here. I think our strategy for this is just laying out everything on the island and then just kind of like picking and choosing where to put everything. I have Risky here as well. <laughs> so she's gonna be helping me kind of just like make everything look cute and I'm really excited. So we will link all of the stuff that um, we have that we can link at least down below. So in case you guys still haven't done a Ramadan decor and you know want to get ahead of it or want to want to start it, I guess since it is the first day of Ramadan, then um, you can check that out. Pretty much everything is new. We have a couple things from like the past couple years that I might still be able to link, but just check and see. And then real quick before we get into it, this abaya I wanted to share real quick is from my friend Zahra's line, Zahra the label, and it is so beautiful and I thought it would be the perfect abaya to wear as we are decorating the space, so. <laughs> also the perfect abaya to get stuck onto everything. But anyways, let's begin. I'm officially done getting this damn house ready for Ramadan, well at least the living room. So I just wanna quickly show you guys the before and then you'll have to wait until the first day of Ramadan to see the after of like everything that we're doing. But this is what everything is looking like so far. It has been a while since the place has been this clean. <laughs> yes, and it's like that perfect time of day where it's just like so beautiful and bright. So we're about to get started on filming everything. So yeah, if you're seeing this by the time Ramadan started, then head over to the video of me decorating everything. I still have to like clean my, my room and everything, but we'll do that later. By the way, I did do an entire video on like a haul of all the new Ramadan stuff. So if you guys are curious, you can check that video. It should be up by now. Um, and then I'll quickly go through everything once it's like unloaded here too. This like over the door Ramadan reader, but it's like a tie to so much of this cardboard. So I'm just like trying to take it all off. And I was kind of just like, oh, it's just like a random little thing. But this is actually hella cute. So it comes with a bunch of different signs. This one says Salam. This one says Eid Mubarak. So I can like decorate my home for Eid. This one says Ramadan, okay. Ramadan Karim. <laughs> That's so cute. So I'm guessing like if you want to just keep it year round, you can just put the like Salam one. Then you can kind of like attach it depending on whatever day it is. So. I don't know what door we're gonna put this on because my building just doesn't allow anything to be on the door. So I think we might just like put it on a door that like is like sort of near the front, you know? We'll figure that out. Alright, I think that's 
that's as good as it's gonna get. And then it's super secure on here. And then all I do, are you guys a Ramadan Karim family or Ramadan Mubarak? I feel like I'm more, Ram actually, I guess I grew up saying both. But anyways, look how cute that is. That is adorable. I love that so much. I was trying to figure out how the heck that worked, but I love it. That's so, so cute. right? Yeah. It's adorable. Oh my God, okay. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but for now, I'll just place it over here. Also got these really cute candles. Risky found these at World Market, right? Yeah. These ones? Yeah, she mm -hmm. found these at World Market and they're so cute. I love them, so we have a couple of those. I also just realized I needed batteries for all my candles, so I just Ubered some over. Actually, let me see if they're perfect. So those are on the way, and then I actually went to a nest event the other week and got some really cute candles from their new collection. So it's green and it's pretty, so I'm thinking I'll like place these. Oh, it smells so fresh and yummy. I'm gonna place these around everywhere as well. And this smells so good. Look, it matches me. I love it. If you guys are wondering where the husband is, I kicked him out <laughs> because <laughs> we are decorating and I do not want any mess or anything. He was about to like make a, a smoothie and I was like, no, I'm about to film. <laughs> so he's downstairs working. Oh, cute little candle wick thingy. I think I have one of these though, so I think I might just keep this in here. This is actually something I've always wanted. It's like a rechargeable lighter. I know, it's so perfect because I literally needed one of these. And it's just one of those things that like I always forget to purchase, you know? Like I'm always on Amazon, I stay on Amazon, but why do I always forget the things I actually need? I don't know. I don't know if it's charged already, but you can turn it on and then, oh, it has like a laser. That goes in the oh, center. Can hear it, so hear you it. can? Yeah, it's like those piercing sounds. Oh yeah. I was like, maybe it's one of the things where like only young people can hear it. I'm like, I'm not that much older than you, why can't I hear it? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm gonna hang this thing, to be completely honest, so. That will be an interesting surprise wherever we decide to put that. It's pretty long though, I think. But I don't know, I might just be, oh, I'll put it on the inside yeah. of my balcony. Yeah. I feel like that should be fine. I'm gonna figure out the placement of everything now. I'm gonna put you guys here so you can actually see everything with good lighting. But, oh, is that too bright? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, y'all can watch. behind the scenes because like we're trying to film everything for TikTok as well but this is what the little olive branch thing looks like these look so real all right we managed to get the olive branch down exhibit a we'll show you everything at the end but it's looking good honestly I don't really know exactly what I'm doing with all of my decor this year I'm kind of just like winging it, like I didn't really plan for anything. I'm just kind of like putting a couple things that like remind me of Noel Dawn. I don't really know when lanterns came into play, <laughs> but I feel like they're very like Moroccan and like, I don't know, just who knows? Who really knows? One thing that's always been so annoying with candles, especially when I put them in lanterns, is like having to light them or, you know, physically turn it on. But this one that she got from Target, first of all, it like literally looks exactly like a candle. It is a wax. Yeah, it's like wax and everything and it's just on a, um, on battery. But look, there's like a remote. Ready? Uh, oh, there you go. And like, it just lights. So while I'm sitting down and I just want to set the vibes in my apartment, I can just click that and you can do flicker and everything. It's gonna look so yeah. cute. So I think I'm gonna put them in 
these big guys over here and that way I can like light up my room and that's literally genius. Let's do this. We have like roughly 10 minutes left of the light. <laughs> I'm just gonna set it all up over here and you can watch. Dangerous work over here, y'all. <laughs> but it worked out perfectly because this little metal sill already had a place where this little hook can hook onto. And now, all we have to do is, okay, this one's like hella tight. I'm literally breaking out a sweat. This is crazy. So now, we're just snapping off the elastic so that the little dangly pieces can fall down and it's gonna look so cute. I kind of get why people leave their Christmas decorations up all year now because this is hard work. My God, this that is, is stunning. Real like I'm on. genuinely obsessed. Like this is so pretty. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, what's going on in there? It's not Christmas. It's Ramadan." Okay. Oh, I'm obsessed. Does it twinkle? It does, right? Yeah. I feel like I can like change the settings, and then I need. Yes, seem to do that. Oh. <laughs> that, that wins. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not bad. What do you think? That's cute. The house is looking absolutely beautiful. I am so obsessed with, we're both actually very obsessed. Um, we obviously ran out of time to film everything today, so it's fine. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna wear the same thing tomorrow and continue filming. But, oh, everything is looking so pretty. I feel like, my husband's gonna walk in and be like, whoa, <laughs> like he's gonna be so shocked in like the best way. And I can't wait to show him, like everything looks so, so good. So I'll show you like the full in-depth tour of everything tomorrow, but I am going to get some rest and cook some dinner and yeah, we'll continue this stuff tomorrow. Good job, Risky. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Hello, hello. It is day two of Ramadan decor. Everything is basically in its place. It looks beautiful, but we felt like the shots weren't like done justicely. Injustice? Does that make sense? <laughs> um, because the sun was setting yesterday, so we're kind of like redoing some bits, but now the clouds are coming out, so I'm just kind of like, we can't win. But regardless, everything still looks so beautiful. Last night, like all of the lights were on and it just looked so magical, I was obsessed. Um, so we're gonna do some like bouquet building. So I'm gonna move y'all closer and let's do some florals. Actually, let me show you them because they're so pretty. Guys, Trader Joe's has literally the best flowers. Like these are so gorgeous. They're like, are these like heirloom roses or something? I don't know. I thought they were peonies. Oh. They kind of do look like it, but I think they're roses. Oh, yeah. Heirloom very... rose? Yeah. I love heirloom roses. They're like, they're like very like vintage looking. I don't know. They're so pretty. Um, and then we have some like little, I don't know what this is called, but some accents. It's beautiful tulip, and eucalyptus, and they create a really pretty bouquet so that we can put them around. I mean, I already have this one gorgeous one, which... Summer Friday sent over, which was so sweet of them for um, the Nikah, uh, what's it called? 
launch, the hard launch. I did kind of ruin it though because I put this like nest fragrance thing and it like killed that rose. So now I just have to like cover that one part. But anyways, we're gonna make something, whoops. <laughs> we're gonna make something super pretty. This one's my favorite flower right over here. She is just blooming and showing off to the rest. Oh, smells incredible. Like, it smells like lychee or something. Yeah. Oh, wow, it smells so good. Aren't these so gorgeous? This has to be like a weekly vlog thing. I didn't have as many roses as before, but I think it still looks really, really beautiful. I just kind of tied it over here because it was like flopping over, but it's gonna be behind this thing in the kitchen, so I think it should be fine. These look gorgeous. Look how cute this one turned out. I love it. Turn it on and see if it oh, yeah. We are finally done and the sun has come out. So I can show you guys exactly what everything looks like. So let's start with the entrance because I love this. This is probably honestly my favorite part of the entire home because as soon as you walk in, like it's just so, so beautiful. So this is what it looks like. And if you guys saw what this looked like before, you'd be very impressed with the after, but anyways. Um, but nothing has really changed. I've had this set up for like three years now, um, at least like this thing, but I got this olive branch like um, garland from Amazon, and it actually came with the twinkly lights on it, which looks so cute, and I just hid the, um, the little battery thingy that you turn it on and off. I hid that behind my little key drawer, and this just has all the keys, so not aesthetic, but it's necessary. I have this um, incense thing diffuser from Nest, and then this is the lime and matcha scent. I have this Alhamdulillah sign from Salam Gallery. It's like a, it's like a full-on like metal, gold or brass um, detail, and it's like really good quality. I love it. And then over here, I have some faux candles, which actually are they're battery operated, and then it also comes with a remote, so I can turn them on and off without having to like flip them all the time, and they kind of flicker and they look so real. This came in a set of three, so I will also link this below, and it actually has like real wax in it. Like it looks exactly like a real candle. And then we have some eucalyptus, and I think this guy is from Zara Home, in case you're curious. And then I have this little salam sign that actually came with the, um, I think I showed it to you guys. It came with the Days of Eid, like Ramadan sign, it just had a bunch of different ones. So I put the salam one over here, and I think it looks so beautiful. I kind of want to get one that says Ramadan Mubarak. Um, but nonetheless, very cute. So now we move through here. I've also, ugh, excuse me. I've always had this, um, so it's not exactly Ramadan decor, but yeah. Anyways, moving on to the living room. It is so beautiful. There's like so much fresh greenery here and I just love it so much. Okay, so let me show you the kitchen first. So here is what we kind of decided for this area. Obviously, I made that bouquet. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. Love her so much. Have this Ramadan sign, which I will actually be changing every single day. So obviously, it is Ramadan day one. So I don't know. I, th I feel like if I start the vlogs with this, it'll be really, really cute. So Ramadan day one, and then it has all of the little chips in here so I can change the days and stuff like that. And I got this from Etsy. I just randomly... Found it. Actually, I think Risky found this one. And then I have a candle over here, and this is actually where I'm plugging in the lights that are going over here. These are also from Days of Eid, and I love that it's like a clear light, so you can't really see it that much. 
and then at night they just twinkle and they're so so beautiful I love them so much I'm kind of considering like maybe getting some for like the rest of the house like over there I feel like that'd be really cute but I also don't want it to be overkill so might just keep it over here we decided to put it in the kitchen because this is where I film all of my content so it'd be really cute to just have in the background and yeah just super cute everyone outside will be like um it's definitely not time to put up lights but for us Muslims it is um, I, I made this other bouquet as well which you guys just saw and then I just have some forever mood candles over here because I really like the aesthetic of them it's like this really beautiful like nude and that tray is all sorted and then this tray is from Days of Eid. Obviously, this isn't going to stay here all the time. But I also figure, like, during iftar, even when it's just my husband and I, like, it'll be really nice to just kind of have a fruit platter and just munch throughout the night um, before we go to sleep. So we're making sure we are being well fed um, since we will be working out this normal dawn. So, yeah, I'm going to get use the little star for cookies and the big one for fruit. And then over here, little dining situation so i already had this vase i just switched out the the wheat stalks with this faux olive branch from amazon as well and even has little olives on it it's so cute and then just so it wasn't too plain i just put these random lanterns so this one actually doesn't have a light in it i'm gonna have to get one and pop that in and then this one i believe my friend gifted that to me so it's really cute and yeah, I love that. This Bismillah sign, I always get questions about it. It's also from Saddam Gallery, so I will link them below. And actually, they might want to do a giveaway. So if you guys would be interested in a giveaway with Salam Gallery, and maybe you guys can get a chance to win one of these and a couple other things, then let me know. And that can be like, you know, towards or throughout the Ramadan daily. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to win, let me know and I will organize that giveaway with them. Um, moving on to here, not much has changed over here. I kind of have always left these lanterns here, but I did add candles this time. So it looks very festive and very beautiful. These lanterns, I believe I got from Target like two years ago, two or three years ago. I can't exactly remember in 2020, I think it was. Um, and then I just put some like twinkly garland in there as well. And the candles are from Target. So I will link those and nothing's changed over here, obviously. Um, this sign you guys saw is from Days of Eid and it's so cute. It has like a bunch of different things. I put the English Ramadan Karim because honestly, I can't really read Arabic that, that well anyway. So this one just makes more sense for us and also has more olive branches and so cute. And then what else did we do? Okay, so over here, I kind of just wanted to bring more warmth. Um, so I added these candles, these like three tiered candles, which I believe are from Target a while ago. Um, these candles are from World Market. And then this thing is also from Target. I've had it for years. And then I didn't really do much in here. I did um, put the Quran, I believe it was already out, but I just kind of made it a little bit more clean so I can grab that throughout the, uh, the month of Ramadan. And then I also have another lantern over here with a candle inside, and this is another Forever Mood candle. I just really like the color of it. It's called Gimme All of Them. So I thought that was very fitting, and then it's just on a little stand. Um, moving on over here, I didn't really do much to the coffee table. I think I'm just gonna like switch out different flowers every week. So for this week, we have these gorgeous ones that Summer Fridays gifted. And then I have this little lantern that I had bought last year. Um, for the Ramadan Iftar that I hosted and it's just a little subtle detail We also just kind of placed them all over so yeah And then over here, this is gonna be where I put like dates and little snacks and stuff um, This is from Days of Eid as well. It's really cute And then it opens up over here so you can put like the date pits or just add like more fruits and snacks and stuff under there, too um, And last but not least I just switched out the flowers over here, they were very fall themed before. I just switched them for some faux hydrangeas. Got my lime and matcha candle from Nest and then another little lantern. And that's basically it. I don't think anything else has changed, but the place looks so beautiful. Before it was like very fall, very pumpkin-y, very just moody. 
And now it is bright and fresh and we'll be welcoming Ramadan with some great energy and some greenery and some freshness. And I just feel like honestly, decorating your space for Ramadan really gets you in the mood and in the spirit. And like, you know, as we start to have kids, inshallah, not anytime soon, but <laughs> in the future, inshallah, um, it'll be really cute to be able to decorate and just like make it an exciting holiday for us. I mean, it's it's our Muslim holiday, so you know, it's nice to celebrate it. So that is it for my home decor. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but hopefully it was entertaining to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and please stay tuned for the rest of the Ramadan daily. I am so excited and leave your requests that you would like to see down below. I will try to get to them. We have exciting content coming up and please subscribe if you are new to my channel, please. And also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok for more Ramadan content and like in the moment content. Um, and yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.